all right what's going on everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about activision blizzard and why they're now getting called out i think this is honestly a good video to make because when you look at this situation man it is honestly pretty ridiculous and i kind of talked about this a little bit in a recent video that i was uh talking about microtransactions right in and i was talking about how especially in overwatch 2 that was like the main focus of the video the microtransactions are pretty ridiculous it's not a very good system that's in place and we're going to cover that a little bit more in depth today because what we're about to take a look at here is just insane to me man like I understand like I said in the last video I, I get that developers they've got to make money there's people on the teams that they've got to make payroll for they're trying to please investors and make extra money off of these products and whatnot but I feel like there's morally acceptable ways to do it and there's ways to do it that aren't complete ripoffs and that's the problem with today's topic is this is just a ripoff now, if you didn't know, in the more recent Activision Blizzard games, there's something called Weapon Charms, and these are in the first-person shooters, so in, like, Call of Duty and Overwatch specifically, that's the two that I know that have them. Basically, it's like a little dangling thing you can attach to your gun. It's like a little cosmetic, you know? Uh, for instance, like in Call of Duty, you can get, like, a, I don't know, a little anime uwu figure or something to hang from your gun. I don't know, right? But Overwatch 2 also implemented a similar system where you can get these little dangly charms that hang from your gun they don't really do anything you know they're not really there for any reason other than to just be able to be sold that's really all they're there for it's just another creative way for them to make money uh, if you want to call it creative uh, a lot of people probably would argue that it's not very creative but now activision blizzard is getting called out because well essentially an irl keychain costs half of what a digital charm keychain for your gun costs and they even found it to where like a keychain that that is exactly like a weapon charm in game is half the price right so basically if you want to get the digital version of this charm you have to pay twice what you would pay for the in real life version of the weapon charm that you can put on your backpack or on your keys or whatever it may be right so now they're getting completely destroyed online there has been a lot of commotion and complaining about overwatch 2's in-game store prices and its lack of free loot boxes it's much harder in the recently released shooter sequel to earn credits and unlock new outfits for free compared to the first game. And a new example of just how pricey Overwatch 2 is was discovered by a fan who bought a gun charm from Blizzard in real life at half the cost of its digital in-game counterpart. To say Overwatch 2 has had a rough launch would be both accurate and an understatement. The free-to-play hero shooter from Blizzard rolled out across PlayStation 4 and 5, Xboxes 1 and Series XS, Switch and PC on October 4th, almost immediately after launch. It ran into server issues caused by DDoS attacks. Other issues include a cell phone requirement, problems with inviting friends to your group, extended downtimes, characters like Bastion being removed, and more. It's not been a great first month for the shooter, that's for sure. And on top of all this mess, players have been upset by Blizzard's changes to how the economy and cosmetics work in Overwatch 2, with many criticizing the aforementioned lack of free loot boxes, high prices on cosmetic items, Items and the amount of grinding it takes to unlock new outfits for those unwilling to fork over money for credits. So yeah, people are not very happy with the monetization system of this game. Like it says, you cannot earn free loot boxes, which is just ridiculous, right? Like there's essentially no way to earn free cosmetics, at least from my playtime in the game. I haven't figured out any way to earn any free cosmetics, really. And if you can, it is completely downscaled and bare bones compared to like what it would have been in previous games. I mean, I remember like in Overwatch 1, it was relatively easy to earn new cosmetics. Like it felt like every couple of matches, you know, I got a free loot box and I was able to get a new outfit for a character or something like that, right? But apparently in Overwatch 2, they really wanted to push this money-making scheme and just make as much money as they could off this stuff, which kind of sucks because that takes a big portion of the fun out of the game. Like, like a lot of you said in the recent video when I was talking about microtransactions, I don't know how they went from like a horrible system like loot boxes and then managed to, in some elements, make it worse, right? For instance, like... When they had paid loot boxes and all this stuff and everybody was complaining, myself included, you could still earn free loot boxes and you could get free content somewhat easily. Well, to be honest with you, I shouldn't say somewhat easily because that's not true, but compared to how it is now, yeah, it was easier. And keep in mind, that was during one of the most unpopular monetization systems in video game history. But now they've made it per like 
pretty much unattainable for like the average player who doesn't want to spend money and i'm one of those people man like if i can earn something for free i want to earn something for free like I, of course especially when you're looking at overwatch 2 prices where they're wanting like 25 dollars for a skin like it, once again like many of you said in the last video it's gotten to the point where we shouldn't be calling these things micro transactions they should be getting called massive transactions because they're so goddamn big like there's no reason that people should be having to spend almost 30 bucks on a fucking skin like, that's just actually ridiculous. So, it gets even worse, though. Let's go ahead and break this down even more. Most recently, a player posted on the game's main subreddit that they were able to buy a real-life Pachimari keychain uh, charm from Blizzard for $5.00. That same charm in the actual game costs 700 credits, and because of how credits are sold in Overwatch 2, it'll cost you at least $10 to get enough credits to buy it. Yes, it costs at least twice as much as its real-life counterpart. Even if we ignore this whole, this charm is cheaper in the flesh world component of the story, it's still wild. I'm honestly baffled that Blizzard is actually charging 700 credits for a single in-game gun charm. For $10 or less, I can get entire skin packs in Fortnite or buy full games on Steam. And if you want to buy a full character skin in Overwatch 2, be prepared to shell out $15 or more. For around the same price, you can buy an actual Overwatch skin, aka a Halloween costume in real life. All of these prices are just bonkers. Still, at least the game is fun. And for all you Bastion mains out there, I've got good news. A few days ago, the Murder Machine himself returned to the game after being MIA for nearly two weeks due to a nasty glitch. Bastion's still fun to play, even if you can't afford a new skin for him and his cute bird. So, yeah man, I gotta agree, these prices are just fucking ridiculous. Like, there's no reason that it should ever be this way. Like, looking at a video game and realizing that you can spend $25 on one character skin is literally just mind-boggling, man. Uh, 700 credits for a single in-game gun, gun charm. By the way, does nothing. Literally does nothing. It hangs off your gun. You can have a cute little hamburger or something hang off your gun for only seven fucking dollars, man. Like the article says, you can just go buy the keychain for five dollars in real life and walk around with a real life weapon charm if you really wanted to, bro. But instead of doing that, people are really gonna spend 700 credits on a digital gun charm that does nothing that you probably can barely see for like half the game game it just it, it blows my mind man it, it really does like the decision making at activision blizzard like once again i get it they got to make money you know they're trying to please investors they're trying to push all these new numbers and everything but can we do it in a way that makes a little more sense can we try and price gouge and make money in a way that's a little more ethical like a digital product should pretty much never cost more than like an irl product if i can go to gamestop for instance and i can buy something and hold it in my hands that same item should not cost more to have it digitally that I can't hold in my hand. I don't know. That's just the way I see it. I don't know how you guys feel. Of course, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this whole situation, but it just blows my mind, man. Like, it, it actually makes no sense. So, uh, I, I guess that's just another video about Overwatch 2. Uh, but, of course, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus while well, talking about the Overwatch 2 charm controversy and signing out.